guys, what's up? Today's video is going to be my nighttime routine with my one-year-old. My daughter just had her first birthday. She's 12 months old, so she's definitely on the younger side of being a one-year-old. She is always on the move and has so much energy now. I filmed her night routine when she was six months old, and it is crazy seeing how different things are now from how they were then and how much she's grown and changed. So I thought this would be really fun to document how different our routine is now. I feel like I didn't post that video that long ago, but so much has changed. She's grown up so much. It's gonna make me sad. Babies and children thrive on routine, so we follow this specific routine almost exactly every single night at around the same time. I also wanted to film this video very raw and very real. So you'll see that I filmed a lot of these clips on my cell phone just in the moment while we were doing it. I didn't clean up the house or try to make anything look perfect. I didn't try to like change the lighting in any way. This truly just is a night with our baby with no filter, no trying to glamorize anything and make motherhood look a specific way. Like this is just really a real night in our house and what our house really looks like. If you guys like this video, please give the video a thumbs up to let me know and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more. Cody usually gets home from work around 6.45 at night and Kennedy is so excited to see him when he walks through the door. She loves getting to play with him when he gets home. It's so special and so cute to see them interacting with each other and I really want her to have all the dad time that she can get because she doesn't get to see him that much when he's at work. <laughs> <laughs> the two of them are playing. This is usually when I will get dinner together. I wanted to say a huge thank you to Blue Apron for sponsoring today's video and for helping my family simplify dinner time. You guys know that I love meal delivery services for how much time they help me save and I love that Blue Apron has easy to follow recipes and fresh ingredients that are perfectly portioned. This way we can make different meals and try out different recipes without the food waste and without spending money on ingredients that we would only use for one meal. Blue Apron offers 16 different recipes every week to choose from so I can pick something that Kennedy can eat with us that is healthy and that's also exposing her to new flavors and new textures which is so important for a child's development. I love that all I have to do is grab the ingredients out of the fridge and get cooking instead of trying to search online to find a new recipe go shopping for the ingredients, clean and prep the ingredients. This cuts out so many steps and really streamlines the process so I can easily make meals for my family. If you've been wanting to try out Blue Apron and you're worried about the commitment, there actually is no commitment, you can skip or cancel at any time. If you would like to try it out, I will have a link down below in the description where you can sign up. And the first 50 of my viewers to sign up will get $60 off over the first three weeks of Blue Apron. Now that Kennedy is eating only solid food, she actually eats the same meals as we do, so we sit down together as a family and eat our dinner together. Especially with the limited time we have with how busy our week is, this time is really special for our family to be able to reconnect from the day. Say a prayer before we eat, and then Cody and I will both break off parts of our food and give it to Kennedy. We put it directly on our high chair, and we usually only give her a couple of pieces at a time, and this encourages her to try the pieces that are in front of her. Ever since she was about eight months old, she's always been really interested in what we were eating and wanting to try it. And her favorite food right now is actually some form of fish and vegetable. She actually really likes trying new food. After dinner, we'll head upstairs to start her bath. And this part of the routine was a lot harder to film now that she's so much more mobile. Usually we'll try to have her stand by the tub while we start the water, except she's always wanting to explore and play, so a lot of the time she runs away from us and tries to grab toys. We actually keep a little laundry bin in the bathroom filled with like towels and toys so she can sit in that while we're getting the bath ready because for some reason she likes to sit in a laundry bin right now. It's like her happy place. So if we ever need to just like have her contained while we're doing something, we'll put her in the laundry bin with some toys so we can get the bath started. I would say that she outgrew the tub that we were using in the six month routine, except she didn't really outgrow it. She just does not want to be laying for any reason now. Kennedy always wants to be sitting up. She always wants to be playing. So we switch to an inflatable tub that we put inside of the bigger bathtub. I like this inflatable tub because it saves so much water compared to filling up the entire bath for her and it also still keeps her a little bit more contained inside of it. <laughs> oh, good job! Can you try and comb your hair? 
Can mama do it? Oh, thank you. At this time, Cody usually takes over the bath time because like I said, he doesn't get a ton of time with her and I really want her to get as much dad time as possible and I want him to be able to see her as much while she's awake. So he will play with her while she's in the bathtub, he'll wash her up and while he's with her in the tub, I will go put her towel into the dryer. This is something we started doing when it was getting a little bit colder and she used to be so cranky getting out of the bath and I swear this really changed the routine for us because when I bring her a warm towel to put her in after she gets out of the tub, she is so much happier and doesn't cry anymore. Then I will go into her bedroom and I'll get her sleep sack, I'll pick out her pajamas, I'll turn on her sound machine, I'll turn on the humidifier and I'll make sure there's a washcloth in her crib if you guys follow me on Instagram, you know from my Instagram stories that Kennedy is obsessed with pink washcloths. She loves them. She sleeps with one every night. It's kind of like her blankie. I'll lay out her pajamas and sleep sack on her bed and then I'll go get the towel from the dryer. And at this time, Cody will take her out of the tub, will put her in her towel and I will dry her off. She just recently started giving Eskimo kisses and usually it turns into full on kisses and it's so sweet. She's so adorable so playful and so funny now. I absolutely love this age. This stage of her personality is just so much fun. After drying her off, I will attempt to put her lotion on her. This step in the routine also used to go a lot quicker. Now when I'm doing her lotion, she's always trying to hand me the products we're using like the diaper cream and the lotion because she's trying to help me out now that she's more aware of what's going on and she's really able to grasp the concept of the routine. It's so sweet that she's trying to help me out, but it definitely takes a little bit longer to get her lotion on her. <laughs> <laughs> you make yourself so happy. Then we'll put her in an overnight diaper and we'll go into our room and Cody will put her in her pajamas and in her sleep sack. <laughs> put her in a long sleeve top and pants at night and then we'll put her in a warm sleep sack so after she's in her pajamas this is the last part of her night routine i'll do the last feeding while she is awake we'll snuggle together she'll eat i'll put on the rain sounds on my phone so it's kind of like a sound machine She'll be holding her washcloth and I'll sing to her, usually Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, and this really, really relaxes her and gets her ready for bed. And afterwards, I'll pick her up, I'll bring her into her room, I put her in her crib and I pat her back, I sing to her a little more and I say, Mama loves you, sweet dreams, good night, and then I walk out of the room. And usually during this time she rolls over, she gets adjusted, and then usually within a minute or two she's put herself to sleep. So after Kennedy has put herself to sleep, this is the time of night where we'll either get some more work done or I'll take a bath and drink a glass of wine or we will both watch a show together and that's what we've been doing the last few nights now that we have a show back on. We both have really been enjoying watching Jack Ryan again so we've been really excited to finish that. This is the time of night where we can really get to spend a little bit of quality time with each other and catch up on each other's day. And I don't have any footage of this because I do this when it's like pitch black at night. Usually around 10.30 I will go pick Kennedy up out of her crib while she's still asleep and I will dream feed her. We had previously tried to cut the dream feed out at around 11 months, but then she had a really bad bout with teething when her top two teeth were coming in. So we brought the dream feed back and we're still doing it. So I will feed her around 10.30 and then anywhere between 10.45 and 11, that's when I actually get in bed for the night. So that was my nighttime routine with my 12 month old. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up to let me know. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos. And don't forget to follow me over on Instagram if you'd like to see more baby content because I post more from our daily life over on Instagram stories. Thank you so much to Blue Apron for sponsoring today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.